good afternoon. Today is the 5th of June and I'm here visiting Mr. James Coleman, the Rice Mechanic, who is at a safe distance from me, uh, where we've been filming no budget reviews on uh, this lovely Scorpio. I'm sure you'll see that at some point, but he's got something else actually um, that he's been showing me. This is a 1968 Volkswagen 1500. It wasn't even called a Beetle at that point, it was just a Volkswagen 1500 um, with a mighty 50 horsepower engine. This car's not been modified apart from the uh, Weber wheels it's got on it and also the um, exhaust that's a sort of very custom period modification and the paint actually dates from 1977. It has been repainted but not for over 40 years. So if you see little bits of rust that's why but the Beetle that I remember most from when I was growing up was a car of a similar age to this, possibly a bit newer, in red, but was owned by one of my mother's pupils who used to look after us. Uh, he was like a babysitter. And the very occasion we used to travel in it, and the doors always sagged really badly. First of all, we'll uh, take a look into the interior and we'll see the uh, Wolfsburg steering wheel. Little wolf on the castle there. Wonderful, wonderful, simple interior. Aftermarket inertia reel seat belts, of course. Just take a seat inside here. I'm wearing my glove because, of course, I have to make sure that we're all we're all okay if I get in and out of cars, and that's the best way to do it. Remaining socially distant and um, using protective equipment. This is a uh, you know one of the later cars. We've actually got a fuel gauge in here, not a fuel tap. And, uh, you know, controls for the lights and wipers and things are all on these little knobs here. Switches there. Aftermarket radio, of course. And there's some speakers in the back. Seats are really squishy, like an armchair in here. Of course, you've got the floor hinged accelerator pedal. And uh, got these ones that sprout from the, sprout from the floor as well. The VW logo. If I sit inside, sit inside like that, just see how ergonomic this is. It's a very different driving position from what I'm normally used to. It's quite sort of laid back. Windscreen in these is absolutely tiny. This is like driving a post box. Maybe I feel like postman pad. Quarter lights, of course. Big, big, big window winders in a fun little door pocket. Just a really charming car. I mean, I, I call Volkswagens are not really my speciality or, you know, my thing or anything like that. But I do appreciate the sort of history of the things that this car actually means. It's, it's been off the road for a couple of years now. And, uh, you know, Mr. Coleman just giving it a, um, a little recommission. Not very much, particularly, before it then has an MOT over his uncle's garage because he's another tea tester. Kind of way the seat operates for you to get in the back. I'm not going to actually, particularly. Actually, maybe, maybe I will. What? Oh. You were supposed to be able to in, in this car um, have your family in the back and um, oh, just adjust the lights there so you can see. Big sort of springy bench seat. One of the things I think that's going to happen with this car is some seat belts going to be fitted at the back to make it a bit safer. Uh, pop the speakers have kind of gone down there. That's a sort of big luggage area there. These I own a battery and a Beetle's under the seat. That's why it's under under here. It's actually, a surprising amount of headroom. It's not brilliant, but for such a small car, it's really not that bad. Yes, it's just bring back memories of going in um, you know, a childminder's car. Wonderful. So, one of the most common areas for rot on a Volkswagen Beetle is underneath where the, the spare wheel sits, just under there. This one's perfect. Got an original um, holder for the tool kit from the 60s, we believe. This is actually an original um, factory right-hand drive UK market car. Very rare. Pretty valuable videos too. 
These are uh, called, called shims for tightening the fan belt. Those apparently are pretty rare as well. This little sort of ducting pipe there. You can tell this is a 68, 68 car or a, you know, a later car because the older Beetles actually had the filler for the fuel tank inside this uh, front luggage area. It's not a lot of room for luggage though because it's mainly taken up by the fuel tank of a spare wheel. And of course if you want to open it and close it, you use that handle there. No locker or anything on there. So, um, you know, don't put too, too many things that are valuable in there. Somebody might take them. Yes, this car does it does look very nice. I love this. I love this colour. Beautiful. One thing I remember from watching Wheeler Dealers ages ago, and obviously Ed China is a huge, huge fan of um, air-cooled Volkswagens like this, is the crank pulley here. If that doesn't move, and that is nice and solid actually on this car, then that means you've got a good engine. So it's a 1.5 engine, there's no modifications to this apart from this exhaust pipe which comes out in a different place from where it would have been standard and it runs really really well. Starts first turn of the key, believe it or not there's actually an auto choke on this engine. It's, it's an automatic choke and you don't need to pump it or anything, you just start. This looks like a... something off a house or something, it's just wonderful. The wheel that you would have seen in the uh, frunk, I think they call it, frunk fruit, something like that, the front, the front boot, that's the original wheels of the car. These uh, Webers are just on the car temporarily whilst um, we get some new tyres for those wheels. But a lot of people do like to put Webers on a, on, a, on a Beetle, I think they look good too. Obviously I'm a bit of a purist though, so I'd always have the original wheels on the car. That's just what I'm like, and they do have the original discs in them as well. Something I've just been informed of is the fact that this is not a bonnet release, but this is actually how you control the ventilation for the car, using this pull thing here. It's just delightfully quirky. I wouldn't say I, I love this car, I wouldn't say it's really quite my kind of thing. I prefer, you know, um, British and Italian cars of this particular period, but I do admire it for what it is, and this is such a nice example of one. I can see why the owner absolutely loves this, and even the carpets are in nice condition. Wonderful. So there we go. Beautiful 1968 Volkswagen 1500. Just a bit of a bonus content, I suppose. You'll be seeing an awful lot more from um, this little trip, including the Scorpio, um, coming up on the channel. So thank you ever so much indeed once again for watching. There's also a walk around of this car in a bit more depth on Mr. Coleman's channel, Rubbish Mechanic. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Don't forget to like this video and to leave a comment below. I've got a Facebook page, it's facebook.com forward slash Lloyd Vehicle Consulting. And I've also got an Instagram page, instagram.com forward slash Lloyd underscore vehicle underscore consulting. Thank you ever so much indeed once again for watching.